Well, I, you know, I was just thinking, one of the most, if I look back on all the emails that I've gotten about training questions and problems that people have, the, the ones that stand out to me the most and are the most frequently asked are ones about some very basic things. People will say, well, I've, I've used all the information I have, but he won't come back to me. Or I've taught him to hold, but he doesn't hold. Or he holds, but he, he holds it funny. He holds it by the end. Or he drops it at my feet. He drops the bumper. These are all things that happen to beginners, beginning puppies, like this one. It's a seven-month-old dog. Okay. When a puppy is seven months old and you're teaching it to hold, let's say, they don't hold perfectly. People expect that they've taught them to hold in their living room or something like that and sit. And then they don't hold, so they say, wait a minute, I've taught him to hold, but he's not holding. What should I do? I it's a Labrador retriever. They're supposed to go get something and bring it back to me, but he won't come back to me. Or he drops it on the way back. All these little mechanical issues. And the answer is the same to all of them. You keep working on it. It'll get better if you keep working on it. People expect a little too much and they don't quite have the patience to wait a little bit longer and work a little bit more because it will happen later. You don't see three-year-old Labradors that don't hold very well. They all learn to come back. You know, you know, a good example is a little baby. Some babies walk pretty early and some babies walk a little bit later. Some people say, my little baby just doesn't walk yet. So the question is, how long do you wait? How long do you keep trying to let your little baby learn to walk? Well, the answer is until he learns to walk. You don't say, well, he's He's a year old, he can't walk yet, so, so what are you going to do? Send him back? You can't do that. That's why almost everybody learns to walk. So um, it's the same with hold, fetch, hear. Just keep at it. Be sweet about it. Don't get mad. When you get angry, you go backwards. When you have patience, you go forwards. So. That's one of the most critical and important lessons when you're talking about developing these young dogs. Give them a break. Give them a chance to develop without the harsh behavior that a lot of people want to dole out as soon as they recognize the dog doesn't do what they think it's supposed to do. Maybe you're not a good enough teacher yet. Maybe you haven't taught them well enough or long enough for them to get it. Some children are slow at learning math, but in the end they become math majors. Some people are a little awkward when they're young, but they turn out to be football stars. Some of these dogs are slow to learn certain things, but they turn out to be great with them. If you have patience and keep working on it, don't give up, don't get frustrated, don't get mad at them because then you go backwards. Then you do have an issue and you can develop a problem and really slow things down. So just give them a little chance. Be, be a little patient with them. Date, date, date. Ready? Good. Sit. Hold. Hold. Out. Sit. Fetch. Good. Okay, hold. All right, look. She's holding crooked. What am I going to do? Get mad at her? She's holding the bumper crooked. Now she's dropped it. What, what should I do? Get mad? What I'm going to do is work on fetch. Good. Hold. That a girl. Hold it. Hold. Good. Now you're cooking. Good. Out. Sit. Fetch. Sit. Sit. Here. Sit. Hold. Out. Dee, dee, dee. There you go. Okay, good.
All right, all right, here you go. Sit, out, fetch, sit, out. Uh, a little reminder, uh, um, if you're watching this anywhere besides on my blog, go over to the blog and watch it there and please leave a comment. You know, I get a lot of ideas on what kind of information you want to hear by what comments are left for me on, on my blog. So please do that. Have a great day.